game. And then Team Hot Dog. <coughs> Alright, well I am going to go silent, Ninja. This is all you, man. Okay. Get that casting done. Uh, uh, where is the second team? Uh, they should be coming. I will go ahead and check on that as I uh, go dark here. Okay, so just a little warning to the viewers. I I haven't played since the last mini tournament that Greg and I have done. So I will be a little rusty in shot casting, but I should still be good. I just won't know all the quote unquote technical moves that will be being used. Although I know the main stuff like character names, weapons, the voice crack. Okay, so I'll just get a confirmation from Compton about what the teams are going to be, and so Hot Dog is blue with Ontil and Polka Dots, which is the couple, versus Jotunheimer, which is going to be Queen Nye and Orion, having two Lances and two people who can both also use guitars as well. Queen Nye having a new skin that I actually haven't seen before. Okay, so Compton will as, as well be watching. Uh, okay, so Mancer is Orion, Misfit is Queen Nye, which is actually something I have not seen Misfit play in, um, mostly because I haven't seen Misfit play in a while. He'd normally play Roland. I think he played Lucian last time, but otherwise he used to play uh, Hattori as his main when he first started. Starting off there uh, with Mancer getting the first hit out on on Tilt. Starting, <laughs> oh wow, this is actually a lot more than I've seen. But trying to just stay stay out of each other's land. It's like getting a trying to attempt a murder suicide, not having enough for Misfit getting hit down on Tilt, getting hit by Mancer's neutral air attacks. It seems that both of them seem to be teaming up on Mancer, but. Luckily, Misfit coming in to try to save the day. Uh, Misfit trying to keep on till busy. And Mancer's getting a heavy, I believe a heavy attack on... On on till, sorry about that, I forgot their name. Getting the first knockout, and Roland going out as well. Having Misfit and Mancer's on, have, have one stock each above the enemy team. Getting hit by the Valkyrie is knocking knocking out Mancer's weapon, unable to call in his Valkyrie, having the horn fall off, Misfit taking some abuse trying to just get back while Mancer's is knocked out as well as on tilt knocking out Misfit. Misfit trying to do some some of her some of his heavies on Queen Nye, but trying to just do a little bit of poke damage on them. 
Mancer's coming down, trying to separate it out as until and Pokebots are being very well grouped up, which does allow them to be a little more dangerous if they do both hit. However, they are, as you can see them, keeping together right there. Mancer's almost getting knocked out. Misfit being on on grabbing a spear now. Getting right into the middle of both Onkill and Polka Dots, trying to do some damage. And having Lancers get knocked out to be the first one down to one stock remaining. Misfit knocking Onkill almost off the map. If you would have knocked it the other way, that might have been a KO. And there, go, there goes Mancers knocking out Onkill. Misfit doing a special attack to knock, knock out Polka Dot with the Katars. Look at calling in the Valkyrie Horn to call up another weapon to throw the sword. Misfit getting behind them, trying to do at least some damage in which he can while keeping them away from them. Although Misfit is getting into the dark orange. Hopefully they can still hear me uh, in the stream. Misfit jumping into Polkadot's basic attack, hurting Misfit even worse while Until is going into the darker red which will cause him to fly out at any second now as because he, even though he does have higher armor, he does not have super high armor in which Roland does. Misfit constantly getting knocked back down, trying to recover. Can Misfit get Misfit unable to get back, knocking down to one one stock while he while he is while he is tied with the other two in life. He does have a slight advantage with the overall health. All he has to do is just get one good hit on each character, and that will knock them out. Roland trying to come in to knock him out with the, with his special. Misfit holding onto that bomb, trying to get a hit. While they're both being very defensive now, trying not to get hit, as they both know that one good hit is all it would need for them. Roland getting hit with a side special, almost knocking out, getting knocked out by, by a uppercut special, and an an uppercut special, Misfit and On Tilt are being very aggressive towards each other, but could this be it for On Tilt? On Tilt was unable to get on, and that goes the first game over to Jotunheimer. Having just one life left and hardly any life, uh, any damage taken from it. That is 1-1-0 one, one for Jotunheimer. And now the next map is in Hot Dog's favor. To start the next match. And it looks like they are going to pick the same two people, or the same people actually. Banster jumping over to Orion, which. Yeah, he was already Orion before, I believe. Starting Three, being two, on the Mammoth one, Stadium, which is a which is a classic for arena type modes, as it does give two stable platforms and a drop away. Until getting the first hit off, however, on on Mancers, I believe. Having the guitars to be able to get very close to somebody and be very fast while while Polkadot does, however, keep the oh pick up the lance and seems to be Polkadot's favorite preferred um, preferred weapon right now. Mancer flying off the map though, trying to do a move, getting dropping hit his weapon, just trying to do some some creeping through the through that breakaway flap. Not really breakaway flap, but. But collapsible platform until almost getting knocked out. All four of them being near the dark red, where all it takes is one strong hit, and Orion does knock out on tilt. And all it will take, ooh, Pogat able to get the recovery back onto the stage. However, now that on tilt is in red, it does not have to worry as hard. But Misfit getting knocked out by Polka Dot. Mancer getting targeted to try to get knocked out just to get rid of that life as right now Mancer does technically have a lead as all of what he has to do is he just has to try to get as much damage out as possible for in that life as he 
as he is already. He is practically dead just like that, and all it takes is one ground pound to get knocked off the map. Misfit. Misfit doing his, his typical air combat as he always tries to do. Polka Dot trying to knock Mancers off with a, with a heavy. Mancers hitting, hitting Polka Dot back. Uh, Polka Dot is actually the only one who has all three lives left as he is such a heavy character getting knocked out by Mancers. Having... Having Jotunheim, both people on Jotunheimer's team be near the dark red while on tilt is only in in about dark orange. Getting getting hit by the heavy grab, Misfit gets knocked out. Mancer is trying to do as much creep damage as he can. H hitting them both with a heavy just to try to keep them off the map so they can edge guard. Mancer is getting into dark red while, while however... Uh, both Until and Polkadot are low, are getting into that lower range. That almost was a double knockout. Could, could, ma oh, Mancers was unable to protect the edge to knock Until out. Until was able to get back on. Rolling getting knocked out by a special from Misfit. Having, getting hit with a heavy side attack from Mancers. Calling in the Valkyrie Horde and it will, does hit Mancers a decent range out. Until Ch Misfit getting a double bomb hit just with the just with the proximity mine. Until trying to knock Misfit out in the air. Uh, Mancer is getting knocked up, although he was able to recover from it. Misfit getting hit with the special, getting targeted by On Tilt now. Having ooh, having Mancer knocked out finally for his for his uh, last stock to be in play. Misfit dodging, dodging all the way just to get ground pounded by by Polka Dot. It is now a 2v1. While Mancers does have a, a little more life than both of them, it is, however, not not wise as he does have as he does have uh, only one stock left versus two of them. Be, however, being able to dodge and keep them separated is will help him as as with both of them act both of them getting into red now all it takes is just one strong hit from Mancers to be able to finish this could this be using that mind to be able to throw his weapon harder knocking it out uh, on tilt and it is now a 1v1 while Mancers does have a slight advantage within held all it will take is one strong hit could that be could that be the last hit it was not as as Polkadot was able to get back on, not getting a heavy strike to knock Gulland out. And there goes the win for Jotunheimer. On tilt swearing, as that that must have been a really close game. Both teams must have been must have been on the end, on the edge of their seat. Yeah, definitely, definitely something that was pretty awesome there. Ninja, thanks for casting. You're going to cast all of the quarterfinals as I am trying to save my voice. I did have some Dayquil, I got some cough syrup, I got more tea, got some emergency. I'm getting ready for those semis. But uh, yeah, it does look like Jotunheimer is moving on, or Jotunheimer, however you want to say it. And next match should be death versus break am i correct yeah death dealers versus break yourself so i'm gonna go ahead and jump on over to that uh that bracket real quick kind of give an update so yeah as we see jotenheimer moves on they'll be facing the winner of death dealers versus uh break we also have washed up in one win coming up after this next match and swag and average joes after that and then we'll have our semis and i'll actually be back with you guys uh commentating but for the rest of these quarters we will have ninja fans yeah he's just helping me out as uh yeah i'm rather sick and my voice isn't going to last all day so yeah <coughs> we can use that same room as well Okay, that's what I was hoping on. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go dark again, and I'm gonna flip this uh, this on over to the game screen 
But there is our current bracket, guys. We're going to see Death Dealers in Break Yourself coming up here in a quarterfinals match. So, Ninja, take it away. I will do. Uh, one last thing. I just need a team with the color once they pop into the lobby. Just because I am not very um, well versed in teams in this area, I'm pretty sure I can. It's okay, so it's washed up will be Ruin and Pots and Pans, which which is actually um, some people who I've known for not I have known for not too long, but I I have heard of them. I know that Ruin is one of the uh, constant winners of many tournaments. Um, I think he, I can't remember the grand turn if he was the winner or if he was close. And then, uh, the, oh jeez. Oh, no, I have, actually, I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, Death Dealer would be a legit Punisher, and Arcanite Jedi, while Break Your, Break Yourself will be Breka and Clint. Okay, so here they come. Um, it seems that Death Dealers will be on the red side to have Lone Punisher and Arcanite. While we are now waiting for Blue Team, which is Break Yourself. Need a drink. <laughs> Oh, yep, here it comes. Okay, so Break Yourself is here, and they have Breaks and Tech, which will be on the blue side. Now we are just... Oh. Okay, here they come. He left for a split second, but came in. Oh, where did... Where did the Lone Punisher... Oh, here is the Lone Punisher. They just, he just needs to switch over to the Red Team. Oh... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh, someone... Okay, there we go. Teams are set again. Um... Okay, so now all we need is we are just waiting for them to pick champ or to pick their legends and the map. Feel free to pick legends and maps. Let's get ready to brawl. Okay, so while we are... Huh. Okay, there we go. So having Arcanite pick Cassie, who has recently been given an update with all of her specials, she is one who 
owns all of it. Uh, tech picking Lucian, Brakes picking Nash, and we are waiting for the Lone Punisher to pick his champ. Having Orion, so ha having a wide variety of act of differences. Um, having two people be able to use spears, having two people be able to use guns, and having two people be able to use hammers as well. So as we wait for the map, um, and here it goes, waiting for the game to start. Oh, uh, just a quick look over. They all, um, <laughs> I'm not honestly not that great. Oh, gotta get rid of that. So starting out with Breaks getting the first hit by either Lone Punisher and or Arcanite Jedi. Arcanite Jedi trying to do a quick special, but getting punished for for it as he did get knocked off the edge and he was sitting there for a while 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 Punisher was getting hit getting punished for that being edge guarded get, being the first knockout already Lone Punisher and then there goes Arcanite Jedi by Tech as the guns on Lucian are a very powerful item trying to pick up anything Lone Punisher does does get hit slightly. Arcanite tried to knock knock out Tech, being unable to do so. However, Tech being into getting into the darker red actually will cause will cause him to start to fly further. Although he does, since he does have slightly higher armor than normal, he, but he does get grabbed and pulled down with the up. I think it's, yeah, the recovery on the hammers is something that you should watch out for if you are at an open area, as it can pull you down like that, and it is a lot harder. Arcanite trying to use those specials, but missing missing a decent amount of them. Not Breaks getting knocked off, but, un but was able to recover. Cassidy getting into getting into the dark red territory, getting knocked out by, by Tex, but having... Punisher able to knock Tech out. Having Nash be the having Breaks be the only one who hasn't been knocked out, taking my word back as as Arcanite takes him out. Trying just to be careful now, it seems that Lone Punisher is trying to kite them around to do to do any damage he can. Tech getting hit by two com by two basic attack combos. Lone tr hit trying to hit breaks off. All it would take is a decently strong hit. I will do. Uh, he just commented uh, or he just messaged me. Um, Lone Punisher trying to do a special attack to hit attack off a tech jumping just around it. For, oh, Breaks doing a special into tech. However, however, getting knocked out by Lone Punisher and then having Breaks knocked out by Arcanite. Now that Lucian or er, Tech is actually out of the match, it is a two v one. However, with the health that they are at, it could it could be an even game if if what people are saying in the chat is true that Breaks is number one, knocking out. Uh, lock, knocking out Arcanite, so it is now a 1v1, however, Lone Punisher does have two lives versus Breaks 1. But So Breaks has to be really careful with taking out Lone Punisher, as he wants to try to knock him out without taking as much damage, but Lone Punisher is staying right on top of him to try to knock him and to put any damage on him for if he does get knocked out and has to go into a second light. Getting hit with a special Breaks knocks out Lone Punisher, however, now that Breaks is in dark red, he has to be he has to try to get keep Lone Punisher from being able to pick up anything. Just barely getting hit. Yeah, barely getting hit by that mace ball. However, Lone now has picked up a weapon that which will keep which will actually do more damage to Breaks. Which is more dangerous. Trying to knock him out with hitting him with a neutral air. Breaks is being very careful, trying to knock trying not to get hit, but getting hit after he picks up the hammer 
calling in the Valkyrie to pick up a spear. Both of them in are both have one life. However, Breaks has Breaks is near death while he is trying to deal as much damage to the Lone Punisher, Tr seeing if he can knock him out. Missing that bomb throw, however, could have been what kept him. Breaks doing a little air, tr just doing a little air function, dodging the dodging the lance throw. Almost getting hit by the special, but being able to knock Lone Punisher up, do a combo, hit him with the mace ball, pick up a hammer, but he did miss all of the all those attacks, and neither of them were able to hit each other. Hitting him with a mace ball, but getting hit by the recovery to knock him out. So that is one that is one win for Jot Jotunheimer, I believe. Nope, not Jotunheimer, but Death Dealers is what I believe. Um. I'm going to read what Compton said. Keep comp. I'm gonna step away. Uh, should be back before game. I'll wait till the end. Okay, so you can go on to the second game. Compton. Away. Okay, so I will go in and put and put death dealers in the into game one win. Okay, so they can feel free to start right now. Want to dodge without moving? Press down while you dodge to dodge in place. Just a little fun fact there. So starting off on the same map, Lone Punisher getting the first hit on Breaks. Both of them are in the same team. However, in that in this little combat, the tech is already going down into the darker purple. While everyone else is or not purple, but orange, I mean. While everyone else is at about yellow, except for Arcanite now, as as him and Tech are now both in dark red. Arcanite getting the first kill on Tech, but getting hit by... I believe that was the hammer that hit him. Trying to just knock out... They're just trying to do his... Wow, these guys are just going a little bit too fast. Arcanite still trying to use the specials. Landing the lasso, but getting hit by a recovery by Break. Almost almost knocking him out he was in the air for quite a while getting hit with a getting oh getting hit by a diagonal hit getting knocked out by tech lone punisher is the only one alive for that for that moment but but breaks getting knocked out by arcanite tech getting hit by the hammer at that first hit tech taking a considerable amount of damage by unarmed Arcanite is trying to protect Lone Punisher as he is in the dark red while Tech is as well in dark red. Lone Punisher getting knocked up, Tech charging and not letting Arcanite leave the area. Trying to knock him out as good as he can. Getting knocked out by Tech. Ar Lone Punisher goes down. Tech is trying all he can to just to stay alive while the guitars do give him some invincibility frame, frames and a considerable amount of, of stability. Arcanite was not able to recover getting knocked out. Having having Arcanite be the only be the only one in one, knocking out breaks to have one life left. Ch there both of them now were charging tech, trying to knock him out as fast as they can. As breaks is and one of them is a major, the major ch um, problem in this match, knocking out tech. And although, however, breaks was able to push out Lone Punisher, all of them being on, being in yellow held tech, hitting himself with a bomb, with a bouncing bomb. Ooh. Uh, tech knocking out. Knocking out uh, who is who was that? Uh, sorry about that. Arcanite. Can can Lone, Pun Lone, Lone Punisher quickly getting into the red, getting pulled out by by a 
a ground or a downward or yeah a dare down air so that puts it into a 1-1 situation right now we will be going over to game three Oh man, I I wish that I could have been smart like Compton and grab, grab something to drink while my throat isn't. Well, I don't have a problem with my throat. I, I'm just not cut out to be talking this much. So it looks like Arcanite switched over to Lord Vrax. And could they be playing on the... Oh, they're playing on... I believe this is actually Mammoth Three, now. Two, I am not sure one, with the names. Oh, um, there we go. It's trying to trying to make it a little 1v1 at the time, but unable to do so. Lone Punisher getting knocked into a mine after throwing out his spear. Calling it a Valkyrie. I believe that hit Tech hitting... Making sure to... They're making sure to hit as as hard as they can, as fast as they can, so they do not have a However, Lone Punisher is already in the Dark Orange, while, however, as is Tech, it seems that they are both they are both hurt, hitting each other as as hard as the next. Although Arcanite does get does get the first knockout on Tech with a with a recovery move on the Power Lance. Breaks getting a knockout on on the Lone Punisher, hitting Arcanite. Oh, Arcanite was able to get back on, recover though. Although, could this be the Arcanite doing act some some wall tapping to be able to refresh his hits? Breaks is in dark red, but however, so is Arcanite. Tech getting launched off, missing his special, but dodging both hits, getting hit by the basics. Arcanite, Arcanite trying everything he could do to damage Tech as fast as he can. Throwing both of their weapons out to try to to try to knock them out. Breaks getting hit by the Valkyrie. Arcanite knocking Tech over with his with his guns. Arcanite Arcanite getting knocked out by by Tech. Tech throwing away. There goes there goes Lone Lone Punisher. This. This could be a game for Break Your Face, as Breaks does still have three lives while Tech has two versus a two to one versus a two and one. Not getting a double knockout. Knockout Arcanine knocks out both Breaks and Tech. However, now that now that it is tied with with lives, and it is almost tied with damage as well, as Lone Punisher and Arcanine are pulling out all the stops to try to deal as much damage as they can. Having Lone Punisher keep doing his specials to try to knock out, try to knock both guys out uh, back as far as they can. Ha trying to edge guard and do a lot, doing a lot of edge play on this. Breaks grabbing the proximity mine, hitting the Lone Punisher. Arcanite, Arcanite getting hit by Breaks, the uh, drill mine, getting getting hit by the special attack to get knocked out. So it is now two and one versus one and one. However. Team Break Your Break Your Face is down in dark red while while Lone Punisher is getting was in the dark orange but he is now knocked out. It is a it is a 2v1 with Arcanite having little health but knocking out tech so it is now just Arcanite and and Breaks over. Can can Arcanite knock out Breaks before before Breaks can knock him out without dealing as much damage? Arcanite has to be really, really protective and keep breaks from getting any type of weapon. As, as one weapon, as when Nash, Nash does have a weapon, he is actually a very powerful adversary. Making sure to dodge everything that is thrown at them. Arcanite and breaks are being very protective, although getting, hitting the basic attack, dodging the throw. Arcanite dodging the baseball, but however, Breaks not getting the not getting the uh, dig mine or the drill mine. Arcanite now is in the dark red, and Nash or Breaks Breaks able to get back even after 
a full power hit. Both of them are at 100% threshold, so now anything will knock them out, even a simple basic attack. But having a uppercut by Breaks knocks out Arcanite. That is GG, and Breaks does take take the win for that. Yeah, wonderful match right there, going to three. Yeah, it does look like uh, Break Yourself moves on, passes up Death Dealers at this point. Awesome. So let's jump on over to that uh, that bracket. So I mean, what what did you think in that uh, that match up there, Ninja? I mean, did you think that Break Yourself was the more dominant team, or you think maybe they're more evenly matched? Um, I thought that they were actually pretty evenly matched. Just at, just at a quick first glance, it seemed that both teams did rely more slightly on the tankier uh, legends to stay on the map for longer. But however, I I actually thought that that Death Dealers were going to pull out at the beginning, but I was very surprised when Break Yourself came back. Yeah, definitely. So in that next matchup, in that semifinal, you think it's going to be Jotunheimer, or you think it's going to be Break that moves on to the finals? It it could be a very close uh, match, as both of them are actually from the Jotunheimer clan. Yeah. And. Well, actually, no. Break Yourself is uh, a new clan. Oh, it is? Right? It's the, the TEC clan, I thought. Oh, I don't know. Just, oh, wait. They, wait, they are uh, former Jotunheimer members. I know that much. Yeah, that's... Because that's all that I saw. I just saw the J-O in their name, and I thought, wow. Just to have well, just to have the same clan having to face, it, face itself. Yeah. So yeah, our next uh, matchup is going to be the Washed Ups versus G GIF One Win, please. So we're looking for Mongello and Dope from One Win, and then uh, Ruin and Pots and Pans from Washed Up. It does look like we have Pots and Pans and Ruin in the game. Lone Punisher still in there. He does need to back out. But I mean, what what are you looking for from this next matchup? I mean, do you do you know? These uh, these players very well. Um, well, I know I know Ruin very well as I believe I have fought him in uh, in even the uh, first couple mini tourneys. And is it, is uh, is not Sir Possum Pan one uh, someone who who just recently came into the Brawlhalla community during the Grand Tournament? <laughs> I mean, he is new compared to like the old school players, but I mean, he's kind of been around for a little while now. Um, as far as rank goes, and he's in the uh, the top ranked players. He is number 19 currently, sporting a 339 and 238 record. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's been around for a little bit. He is still relatively new. As a lot of our new competitors, from what we saw in the last mini tournament, I mean, last mini tournament was dominated by new players. So. So yeah, it does look like uh, we have three of the players in the game now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch it on back over to that main screen, though. And we're going to see Washed Up versus One Win. Uh, we are still waiting for Dope to join in. Uh, you have sent them the room, room number, correct? Yeah, he should be able to. And you can actually join off of Friends now. So I'm sure he can join... Uh, Join off of Mongello. Does look like there he is. So I'll leave uh, this next quarterfinals game, or these next two quarterfinals to you, man. We'll definitely uh, check back once this match is over. But uh, have fun. Do better. Do do good commentary like you've been doing. Yeah, thanks. So now we are waiting for them. Having Ruin pick Nash, which is, I believe, one of his uh, one of the fan favorites to pick, as well as one of his main Sir Pots and Pans going Sir Roll and Mangello going back to Brax and Dope picking up Orion as from the very first wild card round. This, um, looking over quickly, you can see that Brax does have a, a the highest attack speed of the group, while Sir Roland does have the highest defense. While with Orion coming up second, and then Nash. They, uh, for, at a quick glance, I will see that they are relying on uh, Roland and Orion as main tanks to try to do as much damage while having Nash and Brax. Brax try to do as much damage without getting hit. Starting off, much, starting off, Orion 
barely getting hit while he was in the fray of everything. Tr making, trying to make sure to knock out the other team. Trying to knock out Sir Pots and Pants just to keep him from from getting from being able to tank and being able to knock him out quick. Ruin, Ruin, just trying to trying to keep as much of the board to himself as possible while dishing out damage. Although getting hit by Moncello's attack, having two power lances on the same team can be a problem. As when you try to dodge one, you will go into the other. However, Ruin did knock out Moncello. Although Ruin seems to be focused, getting not having both Ruin and Pots and Pans being knocked out by by Mangello and Dope, starting quickly getting a bomb to hit to hit Dope with, having having Dope be the only one who who still is at three stock while while however Mangello is taking a considerable amount of damage and is still at two stock. He is he is hoping on ooh, but Dope getting knocked out. As I, as I can see, Mangello should. Should have been hoping more on Dope to be doing a little more damage behind that as he is more tankier while Mangello does not have as has the smallest uh the second spot. Yeah, the smallest uh defense out of all of them in this match. Having Mangello down to one stock, Dope down to two stocks, about two stocks, but he is at about half health. While Cosmic Pants and Ruin are are at about half while or Ruin is at a little more doing trying to do a special to knock him off. But Mangello does get does knock him out of the ring. Pots and Pants knocking out Dope. Pot, try, making sure to make use of Roland's specials to do as to do a dodge and attack, but getting knocked out by Mangello. But Mangello did have, Ruin has been able to hit both of the bombs that he has thrown in the past in the past 30 seconds. Mangello is doing many as many specials as he can to do any AOE da damage on him, while Dope holding the holding on to that holding on to that spear just be just for the attack speed that it does have. Mangello is still doing his special attacks, trying to do do all of those controlled AOEs, almost knocking Ruin out. As you can see. A uh, one win is in very dark red while out as his wash ups. Now it is just whoever can can land a strong hit first to knock him out. Sir Pots and Pain's doing a charge attack but was unable to knock Mangello out. Hitting dope hitting both Dope and Mangello with with the charge grabs, and that puts the first win into the wash ups hands. Whoopsie. Okay, so now now it is one win's turn. Caps lock cruise control for cool, <laughs> says to Ruin. Ruin is, uh, he's one of those people who love to mess around with uh, the stream. Um, it is, however, yeah, it is, however, uh, one win's turn to pick a map. Uh, they decide to go stadium. So saving the same people, as you can see, just off the stats, you can see where most people will be relying on what. But Sir, with Sir Roland's average average attack, this still does put him as one of the top tier legends to pick. All of them having the steampunk Valkyrie. However, from the pack. Starting off this confrontation, they seem to be charging Roland now, as as the washups were doing on Orion. Although Orion is now getting into the heavier defense, as they were split up in that little confrontation, trying to make sure to keep them away from each other, does can will will most likely confirm a win. Roland doing his uh, not Roland, but. Pots and Pants doing a special to get away from Dope. They were they were able to knock out Mangello. And I believe that Mangello and Dope. I wanna say they were one of the couples that were playing from the wildcard rounds. 
Serpent's hands accidentally dodging into a special, but Ruin being able to knock out Doe. Getting, getting hit with both a special to keep him in place and a drill mine to deal extra damage to Ruin. However, Team Washups does have both. Does have still have all three, all three of their stocks. Sir Pots and Pants, Sir Pots and Pants getting knocked out. Will he be able to recover this? He, oh, he was, he was not able to edge tap, and neither was Ruin. As the, so they both, they both were knocked out. It is now almost tied with Mangello having just slightly, slightly uh, less health than the rest as he, as he was hit. Mangello just doing those specials to try to group the group team washout or wash up uh, again they're trying to be very close to each other to make sure that they don't that they can do as much damage we really getting a getting the knockout on Mangello pots and pots and pants get, being able to creep getting a creep hit through the through the attack Ruin hiding on the edge to dodge some of Mangello's attacks, hitting him. Ha Ooh, while Potpants tried to go in for a kill, but was was unfortunately hit hit back out. Pots and Pants coming through the coming into the shenanigan zone took as a recovery instead of instead of being edge guarded as he was. Ruin doing the same. However, Pots and Pants was knocked out as because both of them were both of. The one win team was were there attacking. Ha Ruin having having slight having ooh, getting knocked out actually instead of having the lower health, but they all have one stock now, with Mangello having the most damage on him, which would make him the easiest hit as he also does not have that much defense. As you can see, Pots and Pants knocking him out. It is now up to dope. Two 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 v one this win win if, if possible getting hit by the Valkyrie and hit by Ruin Spear getting hit and knocked out by the special and that is the, the second win for that is the second win for the washups having a GG and we will now go over to the fourth the uh, final game in the quarterfinals which is team swag versus the average Jose's Joe's. yeah Definitely another good match, um, but yeah, I mean, it happens. So that was uh, Washed Up that won that one, correct? Yep. All right, so Washed Up does move on, and yeah, we're going to get your last commentated uh, match here, Ninja Swag versus Average Joes. Do me right. Do me right, Ninja. Do me right. <laughs> Have I ever done you wrong? <laughs> Well, there was that one time in Mexico. <laughs> hey, come on. You would have done the same. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. But yeah, guys, so it does look like uh, Team Swag and Average Joes, both teams getting their first match on in this tournament as uh, neither of them had to play a wild card game. So Average Joes is going to be Taibo and Yami Sora. And then uh, Team Swag is going to be Magma Bob and Dragon Senpai. So let's see if those players, it looks like Dragon Senpai, Yami Soro, and Taibo all in the game. Just waiting for Mongello to back out, and then we will have, uh, have our game going here. I am not quite sure what Mongello is doing. Uh... Okay, there we go. Mongello has the... And Magma Bob popping in immediately and picking out the Meta Devil Ryan skin. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you get back to it, Ninja. I'm gonna jump on over to that main tournament screen, and it's all yours once again, ladies and gentlemen. We will be taking a short break after the quarters are done. And uh, yeah, if you are a new person to Brawlhalla and you need a beta key, let me know, and I can go ahead and send you on over one. All right, Ninja, take it away. I will. Mag Magma Bomb seems to be jumping around between some of the people that he does play, and it seems that there will be two. No, just one Sentinel now. As although, however, they do have two Qatar people versus two people who can have those power spheres, and 
there does seem to be a little bit of banter going back and forth. So having having Orion and Sir Roland on a team will keep them heavily defended, while having Lucian and Sentinel on the other team will keep them keep them at the powerhouse that they can be to deal as much damage. Dragon Senpai targeting out Taibo at first, but Mag Magma Bob trying to is being targeted by Taibo, however, as it does seem that they that uh, Team Average Joe's, I believe, did start out with or almost knocked out, getting just kicked off. Mag Magma Bob getting knocked out. I was unable to see who that who knocked him out. Having Yamasori try to go as, as trying to go quote unquote hard. Using any special intent to deal that AoE damage. Magma Bob was, however, getting knocked out further. It keeps on getting hit targeted, basically. Dragon Senpai just trying to stay alive and hit Taibo as much as he can without getting hit by the special. I can't. Straight in. Um, so Lucian was able to knock out uh, Sir Roland, actually, as it is now, but. But Dragon Senpai was able to get Taibo out of the ring with Dragon Senpai getting both Taibo and Yamasori out with the Power Lance attacks, dealing, hitting them with basic attacks to deal to deal a decent amount of damage in that turn. Magma Bob using using the lance or not the lance, but the spears. It is a very quick weapon. Plus the air neutral is is a giant AOE. Yamasori. Going flying for a magma bob. Typo unable to unable to make the recovery. Get, gets thrown down to one stock. It's a two and one versus a two and one with both on with both people in the lead with stocks being at very low, very high health or damage modifiers on them. Getting hit by getting hit by Typo puts knocking them even further down the list. Sir, having Yamasori and Dragon Senpai be being near the 100% threshold for them, any hit could kill them. Both of them are playing very defensively now, as they both, just a couple of hits is all it would take. As you can see, Taibo special almost knocking out Dragon Senpai, getting hit by the recovery by Taibo. Taibo though knocks him out. And there goes... There goes... Uh, Magma Bob actually can can Dragon Senpai do it as he has to kill pretty much has to go through three lives with with his one while Taibo does seem to be edge guarding very strongly with his just with his special move alone. Dragon Senpai getting into the low into low HP, knock hitting and knocking out Yamasori. So it is now one life versus a one in one life. Picking up the sword. Dodge, making sure to dodge Taibo's special attack as he is now getting targeted or he, as he has been pretty much been, been targeted this whole time trying to knock out Taibo just to keep that try, just to keep that special away but Dragon Senpai is running out uh, Lucian I I forgot his name already but he was unable to unable to get the recovery it is now dark red versus dark red Dragon Senpai versus Taibo Getting hit by the special, but he was able. Dragon Senpai was able to recover as because he does have such health. Getting a couple basics off, dealing any more damage as he can, making sure to dodge all of Taibo's attacks. Having Taibo hit the mine that gave Dragon Senpai the ability to grab a weapon, picking up a mace ball, dodging Taibo's mace ball, and hitting with his own. Doing his air neutral for the flame spin to get the win for Team Swag. Oh, did that say it did not? So I will go and submit that.
Man, I do not know how some shoutcasters are able to do this on just with hours on end, sometimes even going up to the five five to the seven long app tournaments. They are decided to go on to the King's Pass. So keeping the same people as Taiba with Sentinel, Yamasora with Lucian, Magma Bob, Orion, and Sir Roland on play, being played by Dragon Senpai. Three, two, one, brawl! Starting out with Dragon Senpai actually being the first to get hit, Taibo grabbing the bomb, doing but hitting both Taibo and Yamasora with that bomb. Taibo going hard to knock out Magma Bob as fast as he can with those guitars. Magma Bob. Magma Bob seems to be a little off, off at the moment. Or it could just be because he was attacked so much. Yamasora getting knocked out as he was unable to recover. Uh, Dragon Senpai getting a knockout with the Mace Ball as Taibo was unable to recover and actually got knocked out of the map. Dragon Senpai being in dark red health, he, he will start to be getting getting uh, targeted as he was just grabbed by the recovery to get knocked out. Magma Bob tr just trying to stay away until Dragon Senpai can come back in with a weapon. Dragon Senpai doing, dealing quick damage to Taibo. Taibo with a uppercut and a basic air combo. Dragon, Dragon Senpai is still getting hit by Taibo as Taibo does like to rely on those specials in his playstyle just for the just for the large AOE damage. Yamasora trying to find a weapon, but Taibo going in to try to deal some damage, but getting hit in getting hit in return. Taibo being having them separated does make a little mini one v one v or and one v one setup which, which can be very dangerous in certain situations. Having Taibo Taibo punished for doing a ground pound special I believe. However they are both now back together and it is a double knockout by Taibo. It is now 2 and 2 versus 1v1. All it takes is just one good hit without taking any damage on both of them to to make this a tied match, however, getting damage dealt, it, but it does not matter a lot as their defense is is one of the highest ranking in this in the game. Although, however, Orion is taking a little more damage than than he would like, but Yamasora getting knocked out by Magma Bomb doing a ground pound. This it is now a one v or one and one in versus one and one. Although having Team Swag have a little more damage than one win. Being, having a very close quarters match right now. Dragon Senpai almost getting knocked out by edge guarding or edge tapping just to come back up. Being able to knock Taibo out. Taibo doing a special to knock out Magma Bob. It is now dark. Oh, and it is now a one, one win versus one win. Having one win. Or actually having uh, Average Joe's win win a another or having win uh, having won the second round we will now jump over to the third round and after that i will actually be able to jump off and let compton uh, commentate with the semifinals and the finals I know I can feel that. The six thirty. Okay, so as we are waiting for them to pick the second map. And it looks like they will be going over to the Twilight Grove to continue this map. To actually play the third one. Magabob switching it up, going over to Cassidy. And Yamasora still sticking with Lucian, Dragon with Roland, and Taibo with Sentinel. Three, two, one, 
starting out both doing a quick little focus on Yamasora as Lucian is is one of the more dangerous um, dangerous champs as he does have both guns and guitars along with a an incredible amount of five defense points on his character. Taibo hitting himself with a bouncing bomb being a suicide. Already getting knocked down to two stock. Dragon Senpai going after Yamasora. Trying to knock him off the edge while putting as much health on him. Putting him into dark red. Can he be knocked out within the next couple seconds? Ooh, a Magnum Bob getting knocked out by Taibo. Dragon Senpai getting targeted now. As he is in the dark red, but loot, uh, Yamasora does come back, does get knocked out. However, Taibo having having almost a really dark orange, although having Magma Bob get, be the first to get knocked down to one stock. Could this be a one win? Could this be one win's round? As Magma Bob does get a kill off Taibo, however, they are now they were now trying to juggle juggle Yamasora. Dragon somehow getting knocked out with an uppercut. Getting hit. Taibo constantly doing his special attack just to do as much damage as he can as it is a relatively quick attack with little with a sm with small room for for punishment it just for the distance it causes dragon somehow getting knocked over getting knocked out of the map down the down that little I don't even know what what that place would be called but Taibo constantly doing his special just to edge guard and that that is the round having a two and one lead that all right man another good match another good match oh that match did run a lot faster than i had expected it to yeah and average joe's it does move on so we're going to jump on over to that uh on screen bracket and Put them on the winner, as the winner there. Alright, so uh, 